What's going on everybody? JC Baby87 here with another Soul Calibur 6 tutorial with you guys. Today we actually want to do a special request from one of my viewers in my last video. Um, I believe they were watching the, uh, the sale video and they were asking for Black Adam. Um, we go by the name of The Hollow Verse. He actually has his own YouTube channel so you know go ahead and check that out. He has uh, you know, quite a few number of gameplays and everything. I checked it out myself. And again his name is The Hollow Verse. All one word. The space hollow verse, all one word, and this is a special request for him. We're going to be doing Black Adam today. Um, Black Adam happens to be one of my favorite DC villains um, for a while now. Uh, he's a, he's a his his backstory is pretty unique compared to a lot of the other characters and things like that, uh, where he gets the power of Shazam and all that good stuff. If you guys want to check out, you know, if you don't know exactly who Black Adam is, go ahead and check that out when you get a chance. But um, now. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the, again, going to the original character creation here, and we're going to go, actually, instead of human, I know you guys were thinking we want to go with human, but we're actually going to go with the hidden village clan because of the pointy ears. Um, in a number of comics, uh, he, Black Adam has this, these little point in his ears to where he looks somewhat demonic or, you know, elvish or anything like that, so that's why I'm going with that one. So we're going to go to male, and uh, Black Adam is a pretty beefy character, so we go straight to the body. We're gonna go, uh, we're gonna change his height, okay? Gym to as far as possible. And we're gonna change his build to, he's a pretty beefy guy. So we're gonna go with the, uh, the basic build. Um, basic uh, thick set. Uh, upper arms, we're just gonna raise them just a bit to a negative 10. Well, let's go to negative nine. Forearms, let's go to a uh, negative uh, 10. Pectorals, we're gonna bring the pectorals up pretty big. Let's go at least to a three for the pectorals. And, uh, you know, he, he, you got that typical superhero, supervillain chest, that superpower being chest where their pectorals are pretty, pretty massive. So let's bring these hips down to uh, 20. And then we're going to, this, the thighs, let's just, let's kind of just thicken them up just a little bit. Let's go to negative 13. Calves, he has some pretty good, decent sized calves. So we're going to go with negative uh, 10 on that. The stomach, we're going to bring that down to the lowest possible, which is negative 20. And then the waist, we're gonna bring that down to a negative 20 as well to lower that out. Um, muscle definition here. We're gonna, we don't want it at max because we kinda wanna give it that soup effect. So we're gonna put it at uh, definition four. So now that we got this here going just like this, this is a pretty, pretty good build for Black Adam right here. I do wish though at times you can actually uh, change the size of the head. Sometimes the heads look a little bit smaller than me. And I freaking click random. So let's go back and fix that. <laughs> oh man, let's reset that and let's, 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 let's fix that. Let's fix that. I can't believe I did that. I apologize for that. So let's go ahead and again for the, uh, the arms. We're gonna go to, you know, negative 11. Here we're gonna go to 10. Pectorals. Let's go up. Uh, two a three hips and then we're bringing out negative 20 thighs bring it up just attached to 12 calves let's bring it up to about 11 or 10 let's go to 10 stomach bring it down to negative 20 waist bring it down to a negative 20 muscle definition we're going to go to four and there we go we can actually make the pectorals just a tad well actually no that's a good that's a good position where we're at so circle there we go now for the face, uh, Black Adam has a pretty chiseled face. Uh, he's an older looking person, um, not too old, kind of like, I want to say maybe mid thirties, at least how he looks. Black Adam is really, really old actually. He's a couple centuries old, but um, his face um, has somewhat of a uh, mid thirties, early forties kind of look. So let's go to 15 here. And that actually looks about right. So face 15 for him and his hair, we're gonna go with, um, balding because <clears throat> black adam has this kind of this hairline that kind of curves in kind of like a vegeta hairline if you're a fan of dragon ball and then uh, he has this low cut hair that's kind of slicked back so this is the best we're going to get for black adam's hair <clears throat> eyebrows we can kind of um go to a little bit of our arch look um 18 actually works pretty well so we're going to go with 18. 
for his voice. I will. Ah, this will be easy. Will this is why do you choose to transcending being? Why do you choose to fight? He is transcending you, and he has a pretty deep voice. Why do you choose to fight? This will work negative seven. So it's going back out from there. And now we're gonna go into equipment. Okay, Black Adam doesn't really have a whole lot of equipment on himself. So this is gonna be a pretty easy process. Uh, he has no, he has no, uh, no helmets, no masks. Um, for the undergarment wear, we're actually gonna to go to the per secret suit. And the reason why we're gonna go with the the, uh, the truth secret suit is because uh, if you look closely here, see that V right there? You can actually change the color of that later to make it somewhat of a belt. So let's bring this up some. And then we're gonna leave that there. We'll, we, you'll see the changes for it later. For for top shirts, we're actually not gonna put anything on for the top, for the shirts or the jackets. And I will show you why in a bit. Um, now for outer waist, we don't have anything like that. For belts, he doesn't have anything. We are actually gonna get that taken care of. For on his back, we're actually going with the new 52 Black Adam. So we're gonna go with the mantle. So we're gonna go with the uh, wizard's mantle for the black Adam. That's gonna make up for the the lack of the hood. Because if you go with the hood, you take the hood here. For one, it's gonna cover the head. And two, it's a short cape. It doesn't black Adam does not have a short cape whatsoever uh, when it comes to this. But uh, Shazam himself has a has a short cape. So you can actually use that for Shazam. But we're gonna go with the wizard mantle for black Adam. Now, as for his uh, his hands. We're actually going to go with, uh, I believe, the Raging Sea wristbands because he has these bracers, and right now you don't really have any decent sized bracers that go on the wrist uh, for these guys because you got the dancer bracers, but it's like up on the, the middle, of, it's like up on the forearm, and that's just too high. We don't want that. So we're going to go with the Raging Sea uh, wristband. And we're going to end up changing the color of that later. Uh, now, you, I already see why you're asking, well, how come he doesn't have a top? Well, we want that muscle definition for his skin tight suit and the skin tight suit on here, which is the rubber unitard and um, the other blue unitard, they don't give off that muscular definition that you need. Uh, so this is, we're, we're going to get to that when it comes to the color changing and whatnot. Now we're going to go down to the feet. Uh, we're we're, we're going to go ahead and skip over socks because that's not even going to matter. Um, let's go straight down to the, uh, the shoes right here. And the best option to click for this, because he has these kind of calf high boots. And the best thing to get right now would be the Raging Sea Boots. Everything else is either goes too high or you got the Ancient Tribe footwear which cuts off where the feet are and just kind of doesn't look right. It's got all this extra stuff. So the Raging Sea Boots is the best option to go for, for this. All right, so now we got this so far with Black Adam. I know, and again, guys, I say this in all my videos. When you're putting it together, when you're putting the items together, you don't really see it until you start actually changing colors and adding patterns and things like that. So, um, now for accessories, do we need to add any accessories for Black Adam? And honestly, no. Black Adam does not really have any accessories or anything like that we can use to pretty much add him in there. Now, there's an option that uh, you can do, which um, kind of fills in the gap for the cape and everything like that. His cape, like I say, his cape is pretty big and it can cover up the shoulders at times. So if you want to cover up the shoulders, the best option would be the Warlock Pauldrons. The, War the Warlock Pauldrons kind of gives you that that complete cape effect once you fill in the cover. Oh, I'm gonna start filling the color and everything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that there um, because that's what I personally want to do for his cape and everything like that. Um, and again, the, the, you have the total option of taking that out or leaving it on, however you want to do it. So now we're going to get to the, the meat and potatoes here. We're going to go to the coloring and the, uh, the pattern and stickers and so forth. Now, what we're going to want to do, okay, is for the skin tone, change it black. I know it's going to look weird right now, but if you see my other videos, you already know what I'm about to do with stickers and stuff like that later. So we're going to change that completely black right there. Um, for his hair, his hair is completely black as well. So let's go ahead and put that there. Oh, and I backed out of that. Okay, so now, what we're gonna do next is, to make things simpler, instead of just going through each and every one, from the start, we can make everything just black from right here. Make everything black. Now, we can go ahead and break it up some. Let's scroll down a little bit. 
And let's go down to the pants here. And then when I say with the pants, Black Adam has a black and gold coloring to him. Um, so we're gonna go over to the right where the belt is, and we're gonna go ahead and change the color, change the saturation of nine. It won't go down to a good yellow. So we're gonna go with nine one nine. It's actually gonna work pretty well with that. So nine one nine for that. And then we have the tops. So we're going to the next one. His cape is already black. Go to the second part, and we're gonna change that to, you know, saturation nine already. And we're gonna go with the 999. Okay, to bring that in right there. You see that across the neck. Because in the, on his cape, he does have trimming, but these capes do not let you have those kind of trimmings. Hopefully, we get that in future updates or anything like that. We can add some trimmings to one where the capes have uh, trimmings on the side and stuff like that. Then we can go back and actually re edit Black Adam. So now let's go to the wrist. We're gonna change the color of the wrist, go to saturation 9, and his wrist, again, his bracers are a gold color. So we're gonna go. With something pretty bright here closest thing we're gonna get is gonna be probably 14109 so 14109 that's the closest we're gonna get let's go ahead and do that with all three of these so 14109 um, actually let's see if we can Match that up even more. No, we're gonna leave it with 14. 14, 10, 9 is fine. And then the last one, 14, 10, 9 as well. All right, next we go to the shoulders. We're gonna leave that alone. Yep, we are going to leave that alone. Um, all black. Now we go to the boots here. And the good thing about these pants is that you see how it brings in uh, that gold trimming on the top that extends, kind of extends the boots that works out perfectly for us. So let's go ahead and change the color. Saturation nine automatically. And we're gonna go with nine. Actually, uh, 14, 10, nine. 14, 10, nine again. Change the color. 14, 10, and 9. So that brings out the gold in his boots right there. So black item is starting to come together slowly but surely. And that's going to be all for the, uh, the clothing there. Now we're going to go to the stickers here. So let's go ahead and move up and zoom in a little bit. So the first sticker we're going to want to do is for the face. And we're going to go with the circle here. The point of this is to pretty much... Uh, make that skin color that he has so I'm gonna give him the proper skin color so let's go ahead and change the size to you know something pretty large and then let's move it down vertically all right that's up let's move it down sorry about that that's a good distance right there and just to be safe let's make it a little bit larger so we can cover as much as the ears and everything as possible so that's a pretty good start right there all right now we're gonna go to the color and we want a good Let's go with saturation two, and let's go down to towards the yellow because Black Adam has this kind of like a uh, he's kind of tannish in somewhat because he has that Egyptian skin tone. Excuse me, he has that uh, Egyptian skin tone that we want to work with. So this actually looks pretty good so far. We're probably gonna go with two six two. Two six two seems to work pretty well and looks like a pretty decent skin tone. So now that we got that there, let's go ahead and back out, and there goes his face. So, now we're gonna go with, what we're gonna work with now is the Thunderbolt that's on his chest. I know there is no lightning bolt on this game for, for as far as stickers or anything like that, so hopefully we get that in the update as well. But, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our own lightning bolt. In order to do that, we're gonna go ahead and go to um, the diamond, actually. So we're gonna go to the diamond, go to projection, and let's go ahead and change it to the upper body. And we're gonna find this nice gold color. So we're gonna go to saturation nine automatically. And then, excuse me for the dog barking in the background, if you guys hear that. Um, he's outside having a good time, so just get bear with me. So we're gonna go with, um, so saturation nine. Let's get a little bit darker here. 
seven eight nine looks like a good fit for this right here so we're gonna go with seven eight nine and then we're gonna go ahead and um bring the size up just a tad so right about here a couple clicks in and then we're gonna angle it to right about here now we're gonna move it up vertically get it pretty high up on the chest probably right about here yeah that'll do right there um, just to be safe, let's make the size just a little bit bigger. And that is the first one. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab another diamond. And after we get this here, we may need to slide things over and whatnot once we finish this, you know, complete putting all the stickers on and everything like that. But we're going to see how we, how well we got it lined up. So, again, we're going to go with uh, 7, 8, and 9. We're gonna change it to the upper body and we're gonna move it up vertically. Move it up vertically. We're going to leave the size alone real quick, but we are going to change the angle. And then we're gonna move it over horizontally to try. So we're gonna change the size. Change the size a little bit, make it a little bit smaller so we can get that lightning bolt effect. So that looks pretty good right there. And let's move it over horizontally just a tad and see how it changes. I kind of like that right there. So there we go with that. And we're going to do one more. So let's go with one more diamond. You guys know the deal. Change the color to 789. Now let's go ahead and change it to upper body again. And this not horizontal, but let's move it vertically up. And we're going to angle it. And then again, we are going to change the size. This one's going to be pretty small. And then let's move it horizontally. Just move it down vertically just a little bit. To right about there and that actually let's change the angle just a tad and let's move it up vertically yep vertically right about there and there we go there's the best lightning bolt we can get um, you can toy with it with a little bit and everything like that to try to get it to where however you want to put it and whatnot. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. There is your new 52 Black Adam. Now, if you guys want to see what it looks like without the pauldrons, we'll go ahead and do that real quick. So let's go to equipment, uh, edit manually, go down to the pauldrons here, and then we're going to go ahead and click remove which is L3. And that's how it looks without the pauldrons. Like, you know me personally, I like the pauldrons on there to definitely get, fill out that cape effect. So it's up to you whether you want to do that. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. So this is the black item I like. Now, let's go ahead and uh, decide you know, on a weapon or to give him and stuff like that. Uh, black Adam is a powerhouse. He is a serious powerhouse in the DC. Um, so I would probably go with either Siegfried, you know, as a style, which me personally, I don't really care for, um, but, you know, Siegfried or Nightmare, um, Asheroth is a good one, and, uh, the other guy, the, um, the time-lapse guy, <laughs> I forget his name, I can't really say his name, but, uh, um, Zesimil. Uh, Zasa Salam, Mel, whatever you want to say, uh, you guys probably say it better than I can. He's a um, he's a good choice for for uh, for um, Black Adam as well. So yeah, um, those are, those are pretty good ones. Um, as far as powerhouses, uh, you know, as far as powerhouses go. So um, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is your black adam tutorial also too guys uh, if you like this video like and subscribe i do take requests 
please join the Facebook group, which is the uh, Soul Calibur 6 official group on Facebook. Right now, we're at uh, pretty close to a thousand members. It's a lovely community where people show off their creations. They have, we have tournaments and giveaways and things like that going on. So feel free to join up with that. And uh, have a good day, guys. Uh, again, this is a fan request from the Hollowverse. So there you go, buddy. Uh, hope you appreciate this. Thank you, everyone, and you have a good day.